Hi, this is Wallace Ryland with RCR TV here at the uh, DAS Forum in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here with Elder Rudd of Tempest Telecom, uh, looking at these beautiful fish go by, and including a huge whale shark. Um, but Elder, I wanted to ask you, what are you guys doing here? Why are you at the DAS Forum? Um, thanks, uh, buddy, Wallace. <laughs> Um, so Tempest is here uh, because we are a turnkey DAS provider. We do engineering, installation, design, um, even preventative maintenance of DAS systems. So we're here, we're actually speaking on a panel. We spoke uh, earlier today about uh, public safety requirements that are driving DAS deployments. Um, we're also here because a lot of our customers are here and we're uh, supporting them in their DAS deployments, uh, both for neutral, uh, neutral host DAS deployments, single carrier DAS deployments. So we're here to learn about what's going on, learn about where the carrier are going and also to understand the challenges that they're facing so that we can be responsive in supporting them with their DAS deployments. What, what kind of problems and challenges have you seen from your clients? I mean this you know we're in this incredible aquarium that had th this implementation. Um, you know wh what what are your clients seeing? What are you guys seeing and in, in trying to get I mean I'm looking at all these fish and I'm <laughs> hoping to see one with an antenna on it but I don't so clearly there are other ways to do it. What are you guys seeing from your clients? Well uh, and what was talked about today is some of the things that we've seen um, a Aesthetics, as you mentioned, we're not seeing any antennas here. So um, our care, our clients are very important in the design, making sure that the DAS systems are designed and engineered and then implemented uh, to bring the right level of quality of signal into the building so that their customers are very satisfied. Um, they're also talking about, and some of the challenges is how do they design a DAS system that's future-proof so they can come in and install it right now maybe with, their, with one carrier and then allow other carriers to come in in a neutral environment. Um, so that's one of the other challenges they face is what technology to deploy, how to deploy it in a manner that can allow for growth in the future, allow for uh, more carriers to be added in the future. Um, so what we find is we need to be cognizant of those challenges so that when we're engineering a system and designing it um, and determining what technology to use that we're making, helping them make those right decisions so that they can in fact leverage that deployment and that asset um, over time.